My name is Yona Rubin. I am a pulmonary and ICU doctor at Massachusetts General Hospital and Harvard Medical School. It is March 17, 2020, and I'd like to explain why for now it is sakhanas nefashas to go to shuls, simchas, visit your friends, even have small play dates or go out of your home unless it's absolutely necessary. This coronavirus is extremely contagious and it could be spread by people who don't even know that they have it. It's much more contagious than the flu. You can get it, have it, and you can give it to someone without ever knowing. You might think or have heard that it's only dangerous for the high-risk population like the elderly or the critically ill or the sick, and keeping away from them specifically might be enough. This is not true because we can't predict how it spreads. At an innocent, simple play date with your child and your neighbor's child, your healthy child can spread it to your neighbor's healthy child who spreads it to their healthy parents, who gives it to their grandparents, or ultimately to another healthy person's child at another play date, and ultimately it reaches someone in this high-risk population who will not survive. And also, while it is true that the vast majority of otherwise young and healthy people do just fine and might not know they have the illness, there have been cases where some have died. So why does staying home help? Because by staying home, it will spread more slowly. The more we mix, the faster it spreads. If everyone gets the disease at once, there will not be enough hospitals or ventilators or personnel to take care of the severely sick and people will die. If it spreads more slowly, then we'll have time for some people to recover while other people get the illness and can be treated. So if you're wondering what you can do to help, the most important thing you can do is stay home. Yeshivas, shuls, and schools were not closed so that we can go spread this disease in another way. Please stay home. Merit Hashem, this will end soon. I hope everyone remains healthy and wish Rafu Shlema to those who are ill.